This is the Weather Extreme video, the afternoon edition for Thursday, May 21st. I'm James Spann, feeling more like fall today. Goodness, feels like you'll be going to a football game in October or something. But don't worry, the 80s come back this weekend. Let's go ahead and check things out. Big picture this afternoon, the water vapor satellite view. Got a trough developing over the eastern U.S., helping to pull down the cooler air. A new trough back in the southwest U.S. And these pesky clouds over at North Alabama, holding temperatures down. Uh, the sky mostly sunny down to the south across South Alabama. We note those cumulus clouds roughly along Interstate 10. And look at the temperature variation. You've got 88 at Mobile, 87 at Dothan, but up on our end of the state, Birmingham, only at 67. That's about uh, 15 degrees below average. And Nashville, only at 56. It sure doesn't feel like late May there. But again, the 80s come back soon enough. To the west, again, flash flood watches for much of Oklahoma. Uh, some pretty serious issues around Wichita Falls, Texas, and that's still going to be wet out there for a while. And we do note a severe thunderstorm watch for parts of eastern North Carolina. That's where we have a standard slight risk of severe weather, a marginal risk for the rest of today and tonight over the western Gulf Coast. Tomorrow, slight risk of severe weather way west of here in pretty much the same areas on day three, which is Saturday. No severe weather for our state anytime soon. And boy, look at the numbers the QPF chart uh, for the next five days, bullseye 7.6 inches around Lake Texoma. And uh, around here, not much. Rain amounts one half inch or less. And this is valid through Tuesday morning of next week. All right, model fans. Here we go. This is the 12Z GFS valid tomorrow at 1 o'clock. Big troughing over the eastern and northeast U.S. Deep trough over southern California. Down below that, we're in a dry air mass. We start the day in many locations down in the 40s. Hey, hey, that's nice. The high tomorrow, mid-70s, low humidity should be brighter than today with the sun back in full force. Saturday as the weekend begins, beautiful weather, sunny and warmer, highs, low to mid-80s. Thunderstorms across the Great Plains. Sunday, same thing. Maybe some strong storms for the nation's bread basket, but around here looks like the weather warm and dry with highs in the mid-80s, partly sunny on Sunday. And Monday, moisture begins to increase. Memorial Day, that means the chance of a few scattered afternoon and evening showers and storms. Otherwise, a mix of sun and clouds with a high in the low to mid-80s. And Next week, we kind of stay in that moist air. This is Tuesday. Each day, there'll be the chance of scattered showers and storms. Here's Wednesday. And a week from today, Thursday, May 28th. The uh, core of the westerly shifting north, which you expect this time of the year. And again, we're in kind of a soupy air mass. And each day next week, warm, muggy, partly sunny, a chance of scattered showers and storms. Here's the end of the forecast, Sunday, May 31st, the end of the month, the end of meteorological spring. Uh, general ridging down here, and it's the same story. Warm, partly sunny, maybe a storm in spots. Temperatures rebound, highs back around 90, maybe low 90s as we start the month of June. And on an average basis for the next uh, several days, this is through June 4th, temperatures will, will stay above average in the east, where an upper ridge is likely to continue. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream of the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.